to the best week ever. Today, I'm back in the art yurt for an astronomy activity where we're gonna be making constellations together. When people first started looking up at the night sky and started seeing constellations in the stars and deciding what they were, they started creating stories to go along with them, such as Orion and Draco and Ursa Minor and Ursa Major. Um, they all have stories that go along with those characters that are in the stars. And so today we're gonna to be making our own constellations, making our own stories as we learn a little bit about the night sky. For today's activity, you're gonna need a piece of paper, some scissors, something to write with, either a pencil, pen, markers, crayons, whatever you need. I recommend a pencil for today's activity. And last but not least, a flashlight. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your paper. I like to have something that's a little bit thicker like construction paper or something called cardstock if you have it there where you live. Grab your flashlight, put the part that shines down on the paper and trace a circle around it. Not all circles are great. That was not my best circle by any means, but that's okay. Just keep drawing circles around your paper and be sure to give plenty of space between each of your circles. Here's one I was working on earlier. As you can see, I've got a few things on here already. I did my one of my favorite foods, which is pizza. So I drew with a pencil and then I marked dots where it's almost like connect the dots with a marker to symbolize the stars it would be in that pizza constellation. I also did my favorite animal, which is dog. Did my favorite camp activity a little differently. I drew an arrow for archery and later, whenever I'm gonna be poking holes in this, I'm just gonna kind of choose where I want the holes to go as I'm doing it. So go on and fill your, up your sheet and all your different circles with different dots that make up those constellations that you want. Feel free to do it either by drawing first and making the circles there, drawing and make the circles later, or just make the circles as you think your star should be. Next, cut your paper around those circles. Cut those circles out, and then you will be ready to move on to the next step, which is gonna be poking your stars. You can do this with a pencil and poke on each star. Now that you got your constellations ready, it's time to test them out. Go on and have your cut pieces of paper, your flashlight, put them on like this. You can either tape them or hold them and project them onto the wall or ceiling. Let's see what mine look like. This one's my pizza one. See the pepperoni there on the slice? Remember that's my favorite food. Here we have archery. It's a little hard to see that that's supposed to be an arrow. That's okay, I know what it is. And remember that's my favorite camp activity. Ooh, a little closer, it looks a little better. And there's my dog. See the ears, the eyes, and the nose on that? That turned out better than I thought it would. As you probably saw with mine, it won't always show exactly as you thought it might, but that's totally okay. It still is a representation of something about you and that you wanted to share with somebody else. Um, definitely going to be making stories about these and sharing that with whoever you're showing these constellations with. Do this activity with somebody else, find out some of their favorite things and get them to help make stories alongside yours too and try to see if you can figure out what they made as well before you hear their story. With that, that's all for astronomy today with me here in the yurt. Thank you very much for coming and hope you have the best week ever. Ice cream and cake, do the ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake, do the ice cream and cake.